Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We got overwhelming response for our previous video on Neo4j. In that video, you can learn about how to download and install Neo4j desktop version and also how to create a database and how to create nodes and relationship and how to find a node based on uh, ID and conditions that we give. If you haven't watched that video, click on the above link to watch it. And some of our viewers have asked how to integrate Java and Neo4j. In this video, I'm going to teach how to integrate Neo4j and Java so that you can make your own applications. For this to work, I'm using uh, Eclipse IDE and JDK 14.0.1 and Neo4j server version. For all of this, I will put the link in the comment section and uh, make sure that you use a uh, specific uh, Neo4j server version uh, appropriate for your OS that you are using. Let's get started. I'm going to create a Maven project. So this is my Eclipse IDE. I'm going to create a Maven project. So create a simple project. So it has created a project for you uh, with the name demo Neo Java. So you can uh, put the main files here, source main Java. And also in the form .xml so this is where you need to add the dependencies uh, for the neo4j example have dependency you need dependency that's a parent and also inside dependencies you should have one dependencies as many dependencies as you want so i'm going to add that one dependency that we need for neo4j java integration So for uh, this dependency, we need uh, a group ID, uh, org neo4j driver and also an artifact ID, neo4j java driver and also a version which is uh, 4.1.1 I'm using. So this is where you can add all the dependencies for a project if you know about uh, Maven. So um this form file will make sure that you have all dependencies that's needed for um, executing a particular pro project for this example we need uh, definitely need neo4j java driver to integrate uh, neo4j and java so i'm adding this dependency after uh, you have added the dependencies to the form.xml file you can actually uh, build the project so that uh, it will download all the dependencies that's needed for this project so you go to maven and also update the project so that it will make sure that you have the neo4j java driver in your uh, project environment So to make sure that you have a Neo4j Java driver, you can go to Maven dependencies and see uh, the particular driver that we have added in the POM file that is Neo4j Java driver. It's in the Maven dependencies, so uh, we can make sure that uh, it's going to work perfectly if you find this uh, required dependency. After this, I'm going to add a Java class file. So click on the source main Java new and then a class file. So you can give any name that you want. I'm going to create our world maybe and finish. So this is an empty class. So this is a hello world example as you can see uh, this is a class name and it implements the interface auto closable and uh, this is an interface which uh, makes sure to close the connection uh, and uh, so that uh, the objects that holds the resources are released and next thing is uh, you have this uh, variable de declaration driver and driver and this driver is very essential to connect uh, this uh, java with neo4j so as you can see it is using the it's taking the username and password and also the uri so what is the um, uniform resource uh, identifier so as you can see this is matched with the instantiation that we are passing here so this is a main method and you have the arguments and whatever uh, exceptions that are thrown using throws exception and uh, hello world 
greaters, greeter sorry this is the object and it in, in instantiate the um, uh, constructor using uh, the URI and also the username and password so for my uh, uh, database I have given uh, 123 as a password so this is um, my uh, password so make sure that you use the correct uh, password for your uh, Neo4j database and uh, the Neo4j server works only on this port make sure that you have uh, this port unlike uh, desktop version server version uses uh, uh, 7687 uh, whereas desktop version uses 7474 and um, so it is uh, try calling this uh, instantiating the um, constructor if that works then it is calling the print uh, greeting so this is the print greeting method where we are uh, sending the final message which is uh, hello world which is passed inside this parameter which is message and uh, we are uh, creating a session with the driver object and uh, greeting it with the session object so you, as you can see this um, uh, greeting after executing this uh, transaction it will uh, be set to the greeting string and uh, this uh, you can uh, call the write transaction which is uh, going to execute a unit of work so as you know the transaction is a, a sequence of queries that you can give to execute and um, you can this uses a string overriding as you can see it overrides a string greeting after executing this uh, particular transaction so there is a result class which actually runs the cipher query which is create and then it creates a node a greeting and then sets a message uh, sets a property a dot message uh, equal to uh, dollar message make, make sure this message uh, this name is sim is the same as this name and also you are passing this message uh, from uh, the main method and this result will be returned so as you can see that uh, a result is calling a method of single which actually returns the first record of the result and uh, this get will retry the value based on the index that we are passing so here we are passing uh, zero as the index and then returning it as a string and then the result of this uh, statement will be uh, assigned to the string uh, greeting and then finally we are printing the greeting message so let's execute uh, now so before uh, running the java application make sure that uh, you have started the neo4j server i'm going to show you how to um, start the neo4j server now so go to your uh, terminal to check uh, if you have a proper uh, jdk to check that Right now I'm having a JDK 11 and also JDK 14. So for my project to work, I need a JDK 11.0.8, which is there. So I don't need to worry about that. And now I'm going to start the Neo4j server. So in order to start the Neo4j server, I uh, need to go to the Neo4j uh, home directory, which is here. So this is where my uh, new 4G Enterprise 4.1.3 there. Then you click on it. Change the directory to the new 4G home. So now you can uh, start the new 4G server by this command. Dot slash bin slash new 4G is. So now it's starting the Neo4j. This is how uh, you need to start the Neo4j before uh, executing the Java application that we have created. And as you can see, it has created, a, uh, sorry, enabled the bolt on a local host with the port number that we have specified in the Java application 7687. So now we can run this uh, Java application, right click on it and then run as uh, java application run as java application and as you can see that uh, it's calling the local host 7687 uh, and it has created a node uh, with the id 0 and also the message that we have sent so this is the message here in order to check uh, if this has created a node in your uh, neo4j database you can uh, 
uh, check it in this URI and also the username and the password. Let's see it if it has created the node uh, zero with the message hello world or not. Uh, so let's check if we uh, have uh, created the node in our database successfully. For this to check, you need to go localhost colon 7474. And um, so that's your uh, default database. And you have one node that is created with a uh, message hello world. As you can see, this is a node that we have created and the message hello world, which is a property that we have set to the node greeting. I hope this video has helped you to integrate uh, Neo4j and Java and also creating a simple uh, node. So with the same setup, you can able to create a relationship between two nodes or you can able to find a node based on the ID properties or um, the conditions that you give. Uh, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section or if you have any suggestions for my next video, please let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for exciting science videos. See you in the next video. Thank you.